Jesse is a, a likable kind of kid in his own in his own way. But uh, as far as us saying anything specific and trying to get him to agree to that, no, uh, we did not do that. I've heard of some discrepancies of times and things of that nature. Uh, these have been cleared up in a second uh, statement that I took from Jesse myself, uh, which was also recorded, and it was merely just some confusion on his part. I, uh, I remember uh, our first news briefing as to the arrest, and uh, that was asked to me by one of the uh, news people was if I rated the case from 1 to 10, what would I rate it? And I told him an 11. And it, it got quite a ruckus from the crowd, and, and that's how we felt that uh, we've got a very good case. Uh, we are definitely hampered by uh, this is a, a crime scene that occurred in a wooded area. It was the terrain was uh, difficult to work with. Um, we did search warrants uh, four weeks or a month after the, the crime had occurred. So that would give individuals plenty of time to uh, disregard or there any type of evidence that could be found. So dealing with what we had to deal with in our investigation, uh, I think we were very fortunate in coming up with the type of uh, evidence that we have, forensic evidence that we have. I, st I still rate, I'll, I'll give it the same rating, I still think we have an 11. I think justice will be served uh, once this case is over with and the jury walks in and says that they find Jesse, Miss Kelly, Jason Baldwin and Damian Eccles guilty of capital murder. I think justice at that point will be solved.